Hi everyone, happy St. Patrick's Day and welcome to the second annual St. Patty's Day Fun Box Crawl. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Cami from Cami's Crafteeks. I'd like to start off this video by thanking everyone who has invited me. There is a great, great group here on YouTube that welcomes me with open arms. I'd like to give a special shout out again to Misty at Skeeter Jones because she is the one who made this possible for me. Um, so anyway, today what we are doing, you probably saw two other videos before mine, wonderful, wonderful people and so many wonderful people to follow up after me. It is eight hours of unboxings of a fun, fun boxes. So let's see who has the best fun box. So I'm not gonna take up much time. We are going to begin. So my fun box comes from Sewanee, Georgia, complimentary of Misty at Skeeter Jones. So I didn't open this. This is the first time I am opening this box. I am really super excited. I'm excited about this whole day. I can't wait to see what everyone has. So if you have the time, please stick around and watch us all. Okay, so I have it open. Oh, nope, I don't have it open. There's a little tape on the side there, a little tape over there. So this is what it looks like. There is an invoice. Again, I did not order this. Misty um, at Skeeter Jones did, and she ordered this on February 26th. So I am pretty sure everyone ordered around that time. So I'm going to cut this tissue off. So Suwannee, Georgia always does a nice job of packing. There's some bubble wrap and this looks kind of colorful. So here is the first look at what's in this box. Now let's begin. So these fun boxes have usually 10 items. So we will see and let's begin. So the first item is a book sock. And when my kids were little, they used to always use these fabric book socks. So this is something that I'll probably send off to my grandson. Ooh, this is nice. This is by Tags Evolution. And it is, I would think maybe you could keep this on as a keychain or just hang it off your pocketbook or the luggage. So it is a very glamorous looking skeleton. So that's really cute, new with tags, gold tone. Hardware, a little faux leather tassel. And the back is just solid like a black, like a, a black felt. And here is the front. So he's pretty cool. Not a bad thing. The next item is Maker's Garments, and it is a pair of fun orange, black, and white socks, which these are super cute, especially in the month of October. So that. Okay. So here is a little carryall. I'm kind of wondering if there is maybe a strap inside to do the across body. So it is in the shape of like a camera bag. It's a nice brown. It doesn't look like it was ever used. So that's, it's definitely a vegan leather, a faux leather. It has the front, ooh, leopard print lining in the front pocket. Yes, the strap is in there. So this is 
the one of the zipper compartments, probably the main one. So it's like a divided compartment, again, with the leather lining. And I do believe this is brand new. It has two little slip pockets on that side and then one zipper pocket. I don't know if you can see that on this side. So I'm gonna put the strap back so we don't lose that. This is a cute little bag for those who like to do thrifting and flea markets and festivals. Something pretty, a nice size to hold your stuff. Oh, so okay, this actually goes right through to that other compartment, so it, it, it's not divided. So that's that. But this is a nice size bag. Um, definitely a sellable piece. And it's in like a tobacco brown. So that's that. Or you could even carry it by the top handle, which is cute. So the next piece is by Auden. And it's an extra small, new with tags. It's an unlined bralette. It retailed for $12.99. So there's that. It has like a racer back. So that would be definitely a sellable piece. I see something in here that I'm gonna really love. I'm wondering if this is a Pajmina wrap. It's really pretty. It's like in a teal with some gold and brown and fringe. It feels like it could be a pashmina. And what I love about these scarves, you don't have to really use them as a scarf. You could, oh, nope. Uh, you could use them, you know, even anywhere in your house. And it is not pashmina. It is 55% acrylic, 45% viscose, but this is really a pretty piece. And you could definitely use it as a wrap, as a shawl, or as a scarf, or you could even use it in your home. I have done that before. So that is a really pretty piece. So the next item, this feels like a nylon, maybe, maybe another crossbody bag. Let's see if the strap is in there. Yes, it is. The strap is in here. Let me connect it. I don't, I do not see a name on it, but I guess this could be maybe possibly worn as one of those like waistband bags. I'm never good at putting those on, so I'm not even gonna try. But it looks like pretty much, it, it. there's no name, but it looks like it's maybe new without tags or hardly worn, really. There's this little zip pocket, and we have that. And it's like that. So it's like that quilted, similar to a puffer jacket. So there is that. Okay. So this is Felix Gray. What I think this is, is a pair of sunglasses. Sorry about all this noise. Let me just cut it with my blade to put everybody out of the agony of listening to this and I do apologize so thank you Sawani Georgia you really wrapped this bad boy up okay there we go most of my video is going to be me opening that up so here is the case, Felix Gray. 
I'm not sure about this brand, so I will look up comps. And maybe they're like a pair of readers. Hmm, maybe. I'm not so sure because they look the same as the rest of the world. But it's like a tortoise shell frame, a faux tortoise shell. And there is that. Okay, so the next item, and I am like in love and I wanna scream. This is by Disney. And it is a big old fleece, definitely oversized. And you can see Mickey embroidered here. And then there's all different colors of flowers and outlines of a Mickey Mouse head. At first I thought this was a bathroom, but nope. It's a fleece. I'm trying to find a size. This is definitely a larger size or maybe worn to be oversized. Uh, this garment is flame resistant. It says typo, anything but ordinary. I don't know the size, but this is super cute. I don't know if y'all can see that. And it has a hood. And that's the inside, it's fully lined. So this is like a pretty awesome piece. This, this is really nice. I, I'm, I'm loving this. So I think this box has been pretty good to me. So thank you, Misty. And the last item we have is a faux leather snakeskin print tote bag and it has silver uh, rounded studs over here. Let's open this bad boy up. In this tote bag it includes a little change purse. Keep your keys and stuff in there. Okay, I don't think this was ever used. It's super it, it, it's deep, it's really super clean inside. Um, no tags though, that's okay. There's a lot that I could list this for under, a lot of, you know, vegan leather, uh, snake skin, a lot of keywords. So it's a magnetic closure. So that is everything. I'm gonna do the count. So. The faux leather snake print tote bag we have here is item number one. Item number two is this awesome, awesome Disney oversized hoodie. I'm loving that. Number three was this waist bag. I guess we could call it a waist bag, right? Sits at the waist. That was number three. Number four is this camera bag with the top handle or the crossbody strap. Number five is this awesome, awesome scarf, which I did forget to show you the back side of that is like a beautiful like tobacco brown, golden brown. So it is reversible. So that was number five. Number six is this little new with tags bralette. Number seven are these fun pair of socks. I call them October socks in my mind. Number eight is this very jazzed out bejeweled skeleton keychain that is number nine is this book sock and number 10 are these felix gray 
faux tortoise shell glasses. So I'd like to thank everybody who has joined in. Please hang out for the rest of the unboxings. I know I will be watching them all today. So thank you very much. Happy St. Patrick's Day, and I'll see you real soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.